Hello friends, view of Starship Landing 1 and Splashdown on Flight 10, made possible by SpaceX's recovery team. Starship made it through re-entry with intentionally missing tile, completed maneuver to intentionally stress its flaps, had visible damage to its aft section and flaps, and still execute a flip and landing one that placed it approximately 3 minutes from the targeted splashdown point. Starship 10 flight test lifted off on August 26, 2025 at 6.30 a.m. Central Time from Starbase, Texas, taking a significant step forward in developing the world's first fully reusable launch vehicle. Every major objective was met, providing critical data to inform design of the next-generation Starship and Super Heavy rocket. The flight test began with Super Heavy successfully lifted off by igniting all 33 Raptor engines and ascending over the Gulf of America. Successful ascent was followed by a hot stage maneuver with Starship's upper stage igniting its six Raptor engines to separate from Super Heavy and continue the flight to space. Following stage separation, the Super Heavy booster completed its boost back burn to put it on a course to pre-plant splashed on June. The booster descended and successfully initiated its landing burn, intentionally disabling one of its three center engines during the final phase of burn and using a backup engine from middle ring. Super Heavy entered into a final hover above the water before shutting down its engine and splashing down into the water. Starship completed a full duration ascent burn and achieved its planned velocity, successfully putting it on a suborbital trajectory. The first in-space objective was then completed with eight Starlink simulators deployed in the first successful payload demonstration from Starship. The vehicle then completed the second ever in-space relight of Raptor engines, demonstrating a key capability for future deorbit work. Moving into the critical re-entry phase, Starship was able to gather data on the performance of its heat shield and structure as it was intentionally stressed to push the envelope on vehicle capabilities. Using its four flaps for control, the spacecraft arrived at its splashdown point in the Indian Ocean, successfully executed a landing flip, and completed the flight test with a landing burn and soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean.